Hey everyone, welcome back to another holiday edition of Cooking With Me, Chef Angela from Eat Your Heart Out Edibles. Today I'm going to show you how to make my Aunt Jean's Swedish nuts perfect to add to your holiday cookie tray. For the Swedish nuts, you'll need one cup of melted butter, one cup of white sugar, one cup of pecans, and two eggs. The first step is to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Put the egg yolks aside for another use and put the whites to good use by whipping in either a stationary mixer or a handheld mixer until soft peaks form. Then you're going to whip, whip, whip until the egg whites start to form those peaks. I fast forward through this video because this honestly takes a few minutes, but for time's sake, we made it quick. The next step is to get your whipped egg whites and fold in a cup of white sugar. Then add a cup of pecans. Once your pecans have been coated, you're then going to toss them into the melted butter. I like to use my hands, they make the best kitchen tool. Then take your coated pecans and two forks and spread them out onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Then take your prepared nuts and walk over to a 350 degree oven. And from here, you're going to bake your nuts for 10 minutes. Okay, so I let them cook for 10 minutes and then I popped them out of the oven, flipped the nuts over and you let them cook for an additional 10 minutes. So about 20 minutes total. And then I took them out of the oven and you have to let them cool for about another 10 minutes so you don't burn yourself. And now they'll look like this when they come out. And the reason I say let them cool for a little bit is because I like to use my hands and you just have to break them apart. Or if not, it's kind of like, um, oh, we big pieces of brittle. So just break them apart. And I'll put a few over here so you can get a good picture of what they look like when they're done. So like I said, they're a great addition to your holiday cookie tray. I actually like to use them as salad or soup toppers. But there you go, my Aunt Jean's Swedish Nuts. Hey everyone, welcome back to another holiday edition of Cooking With Me, Chef Angela from Eat Your Heart Out Edibles. Today I'm going to show you how to make my Aunt Jean's Swedish Nuts perfect to add to your holiday cookie tray. You're going to need a cup of melted butter, one cup of white sugar, a cup of pecans, and two eggs. Then either using a stand mixer or a hand mixer, or you could just use your arm strength and a whisk, you're going to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites, reserving the egg yolks for another use and putting the egg whites to good use. We're going to whip them. Then you're going to whip, whip, whip the egg whites until stiff peaks form. Again, it's a lot easier to use your stand mixer than your own arm strength for this one. Then you're going to get your freshly beaten egg whites and you're going to fold in the white sugar and the pecans. Then you're going to dump that mixture into the melted butter. I sped this up for time's sake. Then using two forks, you're going to take your pecans and break them apart and put them on a parchment lined baking sheet. The main reason you're using two forks is so that some of the remaining butter mixture can fall off of the nuts and it doesn't get uh, too liquidy on the cookie sheet. And then from there, once all your nuts are on the baking pan, you're going to pop them into a 350 degree oven. For just about 10 minutes. Okay, so I should brush I it. Them cook for 10 minutes. And then, and then I so it's the beard, the rim of the hat, and I'm gonna grab so about 20 minutes over here. 
And then I took them out and of the oven. This is just you have the to sweetest let them thing. Cool for about another 10 minutes. Look how Don't cute. So basically, now, they'll, they'll look like this when they come out. And the reason I say let them cool for a little bit is because I like to use my hands. And you just have to break them apart. Or if not, it's kind of like, um, oh, we big pieces of brittle. So just break them apart. And I'll put a few over here. Or soup. Jeans, Swedish 